Okay, my name's John Halls, and I'm a tea taster for DJ Miles and Company. Yeah, we're um, three generations uh, tea and coffee merchants. Um, started, well, it's a bit back to front because we started with Derek Miles, and then we can go back to his father and his uncle, and further back to his grandfather. So Derek Miles started in Porlock, but then in the 70s we bought his grandfather's business. But there have been three successive generations of tea and coffee merchants in the business. Tea tasting is a very involved process. It means that we have to see everything and taste everything before we buy it. And obviously we're selling tons and tons of tea every week. Um, so our requirement probably means we taste 100, 200 teas every week. Probably to whittle that down to one or two teas that we will end up buying and one or two teas equates to maybe a pallet or two of tea. So a huge, huge narrowing down. The brokers get involved at an early stage. They either know our business, as most of them do, and uh, will send us teas knowing what we like, or will be specific and say, have you got this sort of tea available at the moment and can you send me samples? So they'll send us a small pellet sample. It's like an envelope full of tea and uh, we'll taste it using our special tea tasting equipment. That involves a bowl and cup, and the cup has a lid, it's a, the size of a mug. The lid fits snugly on top, and we put the weight of two six -pen, old sixpenny pieces into the, the weight, uh, the amount of tea equivalent to the weight of two sixpenny pieces of tea into that mug, boiling water on the top, and lid on top of that to keep it hot and we let that steep for six minutes and then when you tip it out you tip that on its side and the whole thing rests on the rim of the bowl very nicely lets the liquor flow out there are little teeth at the top of the mug uh, opposite the handle and uh, the liquor flows out and the infused leaf is left in that mug and we pop that into the lid and then we've got everything we need to taste I think tea tasting is something that you can learn and um, that takes a long, long time and I think that's the problem, that you can't go into the tea trade expecting to have the expertise in six months, probably not six years. I know at the tea trade dinner they'll talk about their mutual um, skills. The trade as a whole tends to be quite an old person's game, you know, there are a lot of people around. 60s, 70s, still actively involved in the trade, and you'll get a chap who's 60 saying, you don't know anything about tea to some chap who's only 50 because you weren't there in 36 when such and such an event happened. And the trouble with tea tasting is that you get such a short spell of seasons each year. So our Assam season lasts for two, two months, July and August, that's when we buy a full year's worth of our Assam tea. So you get that two month spell where you learn everything there is about that season's crop and you've got to wait another whole year before you get a comparative. So if you've in the, been in the business for five years, you've only had five months worth of Assam or ten months worth of Assam tea tasting. It was mostly the British that went out to India, to Ceylon, probably to Kenya as well. I'm not so sure about that, but they were the one that established the culture of the tea that we now drink and established a route back from origin back to the UK and all the shipping and everything that's involved um, and it was so much earlier for us wasn't it us, us and the Chinese I suppose were the first to be drinking tea in volume but quite why it's such a British thing because tea is not drunk to the same extent abroad absolutely love tea I drink it all day long I drink two or three mugs before I get into work and the mugs just keep on. I've just had a clear out in my office but typically I'll have like 10 mugs of tea all lined up on my desk. Yeah, I love tea and I'm not all that proud about what I drink um, as long as it's not dreadful. Um, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a snob, not a tea snob, I just like tea. I meet more tea snobs than you know, people who insist on only having Earl Grey and I think they're missing out on something by not having a really good cup of ordinary tea.